what's up guys it's Oreo. so I'm gonna teach you guys how to build a solid team because it will be needed if you want to be any good at ranked any good at all um so rule of thumb what you want on your team is always to have a strike back character you want this this is a necessity this is not this is not something you can just fluke on you want a character that has a knockback and is not your main character cannot be the main character that you use um the only problem with this is that it's the only good characters with knockback is naruto and uh toby rama um the other ones they're all right but they're not as good as naruto and toby rama i would say toby rama by far has to be the best to use or you can go with like a op sage Mo naruto or a sage of six path um but for this build that I use, um, I'm using the Zetsu Obito just because I haven't seen a lot of people using them yet, mainly because you know some people don't even have the game. Um, but when you do to get the game, uh, you might want to consider this build um, as you know just a starter to start with, just so you can get the feel of the game and not get wrecked online. But um, I use that and then I use Toby Rama and I use the Lana Sasuke just because the Lana Sasuke is fucking top notch strong as hell. Just just use that nigga. Let's just say that he's that nigga. Um But what you wanna have on your team is just someone who's fast, so that's like my Sasuke or in, just pick anybody fast that you can get the first punch with, just in case they might have all fast characters and then you're just getting over rushed and you cause you're too slow, you don't want that to happen. Um, and especially since you can just sub out to another character, you wanna take advantage of that. Um, also what you want to keep in mind is is just having an all around character like Tobirama. Um, I would say Tobirama by far has to be the best all around character. He's strong, fast, and he's just well equipped with uh, the right ninjutsu to get the job done. Um, but then you also want to think about how they work in tandem with each other and how your playstyle is. Um, I'm more of like a combo type of person. so. Um, all my characters can do like setups or infinites in any case. Um, Obito, he's he's a he's a setup person. He actually has kind of like this little launcher on the end. He can turn it as a knockup, and with that you can um, swap out and go into a combo, and then swap out again and pick it up. Uh, so you want to keep that in mind, you know, with your playstyle, or, you know, what do you actually want to accomplish in your matches. So I'm basically going to be styling on people, getting just the high crazy combos that, you know, nobody's seen yet. Um, so that's why, that's why I'm making this build off of him, just because I like how that works up and you can swap out easily. Uh, you also want to think about how they work in tandem with each other, as I was saying, that you do have characters with extra combos like this. So, you kind of want to have one of these type of people on your team, and then you also want to have somebody who's safe, like Tobirama. Um, with the sub, with the swapping, you don't take damage when you swap, which is kind of, in a way, it's good, but in a way, it's bad because it can be abused with characters like Tobirama or. Um, any character who who does like this little attack where they end up behind you say itachi for example everybody knows how itachi has all these clones that pop up and start attacking you or he goes behind you and just switches up all over the place um so in that instant if you do swap out characters like you're still getting hit with that itachi combo and then you already have your character out and he's already hitting you so um I'm gonna just show you an example. Right there, you see how Tobirama ends up going behind him? If you swap before that, the combo still goes on. So, see, that's not what I wanted to do. Alright, so you see how I swapped out and Tobirama still hit him? That hit can allow me to pick up my combo. Even though usually when you swap out and it does a hit, sometimes you can't pick it up. Like, that hit will allow me to swap it out. And um, just so you guys know for reference, I do have um, my chakra all the way up and I have it so that my uh, supports are always on. 
Also, the CPU does block after I attack just to make sure that the combos and the ups are legit. Um, I also have it so he does um, the little jump out. Just so you know that, you know, there's no way to get out of whatever I'm accomplishing. Um, just to authenticate it. Anyway, what you're going to be doing basically in this game, if you want to be any good, is just coming up with links and chains to uh, keep your combos going. Um, so let me see if I can see you like a start off. I'll start off with Sasuke. Uh, let see if I can do this. So you're going to be starting off with like whatever character you want to, then to like your launcher and then to your finisher. So basically that's my Sasuke to Obito to Tobirama. And basically that's how you're going to be doing things in Storm 4. Um, Cause you don't really have awakening you can't rely on just you know if someone's blocking going into awakening what you're gonna have to do is like fucking jump and sub and get the fuck out of there because if the, you're on block and you're trying to just go into awakening and keep that attack going you are going to get screwed what happened to me um, that wasn't pretty um i still won but it just it took me off guard and it can really put the game off um, when you think you're about to complete something or you think you're safe and then they just fuck you up so in any constellation that's mainly what you're going to be doing so you want a pretty solid team you want somebody fast you want somebody who's an all-around good character to play as and then you just want somebody that you like so you can enjoy you know actually playing the game and then once you get that down Think of how you know they correlate with each other if they can pick up each other's combos um that's why it's safe to go with sasuke because of the infinite you can just pick up anything and that's basically how you're going to be playing stone 4 so that's just a heads up for those who don't have the game or some people who do have the game and don't you know they're getting beat online due to their team um i don't suggest picking any low tier characters i don't suggest you going in there with any pts characters or any weak characters um there's not really an official tier list but you can pretty much tell already who's top tier and who's low tier um mainly what all you're seeing online is you know obito's madara's kaguya's naruto sasuke's so you, you don't really want to go in there with the sakura i'm not saying she isn't good because she can be with the proper team and the right player but Nine times out of ten, she's gonna get beat by Sasuke or Naruto or any other character, for example. Um, I don't suggest you going in there with like maining a PTS character. I mean, you can you can win some, but you most likely will lose some, especially if you're playing ranked because they do not play in ranked. I'm not playing in ranked. This is probably gonna be like an OP team by the end of February. Like, I'm gonna have this team. I'm gonna have a lot of people using this. Um, I'm trying to come out with uh, guides on, you know, how to use a character and stuff. Um, so drop a couple names. I'll make some guides for them or some combo tips for them if you guys want. And basically, I'm just going to help you guys get good at Storm Forge. Just